Okay, we're back and we're going to do the next step on our Van Gogh sunflowers. Now, some of you may be worried the way your black glue dried that you have blobs and different things around. I really, really don't want you to worry about it. I also don't want you to worry if you can still see some of the white chalk. It will not matter. It's all going to get covered up. The part we're going to start today is on the warm colors to adding to our sunflowers. So we're going to be using chalk pastels for this. Now it is pretty messy. It's great to have a scrap paper on hand to rest your hand on. Um, and I'd like to see at least two, if not three colors in each petal. Now usually all of the petals on the one flower have the same colors. So I might start with some yellow and I'm going to be coloring nice and hard with my chalk and I might start in the centers with some yellow and then I want to blend that with another color I'm going to maybe take an orange next and by coloring a little bit over my yellow I can start to blend those colors out and it's part of what makes these really beautiful those warm color chalks show up really nicely on that cool color paper that we have used so you may want to go back to um, yellow again here, or you could go on to another orange. I might do a little bit of red on here. You can use a finger to smudge it a little bit, but you don't want to over smudge it. You want to see some of the beautiful um, variations of color. You don't want it all to look one solid shade. So you want to do that and you can see how it's starting to cover up some of my white chalk. That's great. It doesn't matter in the background if it's not. You also want to do um, a color in the center of your flower. You can blend. Then you're going to just keep going that way. I'm going to try and keep it off of the black as much as possible because those black outlines really look cool. Notice how I'm trying to keep my pastel going in a direction coming out from the center of the flower. That's the way the petals grow and that oftentimes makes the colors blend and look a little more realistic. It's good to step back from your artwork once in a while and take a look at how the colors are blending. Is there anywhere that needs something a little brighter or a little darker? Remember, you should have at least two colors in every part of your flower. Next, you're going to be using two colors of green to fill in your stems and your leaves. Some of the stems may have gotten filled in with glue. That's okay. You can add a little dark green, a little light green. It's really up to you. The last step with our chalk pastel is to do our vase. I've chosen some blues, some cool blues. I thought it would contrast nicely with my warm color sunflowers, but you can do your vase any way you would like. Again, it would be great if you could use at least two different colors or shades of a color. I'm gonna use a little bit of brown chalk on my table. And when this part is all finished, we're ready to go on. The very last step is to fill in our background and what we're going to do for that is we're going to be using these cool colors, mostly cool colors, of temper cakes and that's going to help get rid of all those smudge marks, all of that extra white chalk. It's really up to you what colors you use. Now obviously since I use purple paper, the purple paint's not going to show up quite as well on mine. So I might start with this turquoise. Remember with the temper cakes you need to really brush your um, put a little water on it and swish your brush quite a bit and you're going to be painting in your entire background. Now just by making the paper wet it is going to change the color but once this dries it's going to get much lighter. So you could do a mixture of a few colors in this background and you mainly want to just kind of blend your colors. You don't want to get your paper too too wet or else you may rip it and that would be sad after all of this hard work but you can go right along and that will help take care of all of those chalk lines. Um, you want to try and keep the paint out of your um, flowers, but you do want to go all around all of them and come right in there. It's up to you, like I said, if you use one, mainly one color or two colors, you may want some on one side, some on the other. If you didn't add chalk to your table, you can do that as well. But 
I'm going to just keep going along like this. I'm going to make sure that you get inside all of these little areas. 